So are you ready, Pete? Yes, I am. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is uh, Pete and Kim, owners of Mexicali Blues. Uh, we're coming to you Facebook Live for the first time. Well, no, it's the third time. Well, it's my first time. <laughs> so, and it's probably going to show, but what we're doing is practicing this now here in the States uh, before we go on a, on a buying trip. And we thought uh, before we go on a buying trip, we want to get any of the kinks out. So we're going to be showing you things in the future uh, using our selfie stick. So. <laughs> so we're taking this with us yeah. to um, document our travels. Yeah. Exactly, and show, us, show people where we buy things, who we buy them from, and hopefully it's a lot of fun for everybody, including us. Um, <laughs> so right now we're just going to talk a little bit about, because we need to talk about something, it's, uh, <laughs> it's about how we pack for travel for this, this big buying trip we're going on. We're leaving for uh, six weeks. We're going to be two weeks in Thailand, and then two weeks in Australia, not buying, but visiting family. And then we're going to end, uh, we go to Bali in between, and then back to Thailand. Yes. So. So, but this is all we take for the six weeks. So this this goes under the plane. Yeah. And, this and these are our carry-ons. And this carry -ons. is, that's it. That's and it. We do it, yeah. We, we found that uh, if you make a list of things, which well, makes sense. My list always changes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes have to go through and weed it out. <laughs> but, um, just to, to keep the stress level down and the efficiency uh, where, and have the things you need, it's better to keep the same list put things in the same pockets or places so you, you don't misplace things. And that uh, keeps the stress level down when you're traveling. So do you keep the same list from like other times when you've traveled? We and do. you refer back to that? And it, Definitely. The only change would be if we're going somewhere tropical versus cold. Like in the winter, mm -hmm. we would take warmer things. Mm -hmm. But the new thing we put on our list this time, the first time I wrote it, the selfie stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Otherwise, it's just the same. Okay, so... Um, our bags, our wheelie bags, which was a hard thing for our children to stomach that we're going around the airport with a wheelie bag, but they also turn into a backpack. So you can be nimble and quick and the airport and out of the airport. Especially if you're in, in <laughs> India, you don't want to wheel down the roads of India with all the, Cow the cows about. And all the um, <laughs> yeah, and the, the key is just really to be, to, be, to be nimble, as Kim said, be able to take off. Um, so we used to have one bag for five of us, remember? Yeah, one bag and one stroller, and we'd go for a month. And then we had one bag, one stroller, and one baby backpack. And so now we've, we've graduated to, uh, to, to wheelies. So, um, At least it's not the motorized one I saw on YouTube the other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So, so then... So basically... Um, what's in the bag? Well, aside from... Yeah, you have your basic important things, passport, money, credit cards, uh, foreign currency, if you have, have it, and we always carry that. Um, we need things like international driver's licenses, fish and wildlife permits, uh, you know, things of that nature that other people might not need. But you want to show, see, also, it's also key to have an old beat-up bag. Because if someone's going to steal a bag, they would not steal ours. <laughs> so that's, that's our rationale there. And we just graduated from the Hannaford shopping bag that tied this together. It went to tie-dye duct tape. Ooh. Yeah. Fancy. <laughs> sure you okay? Just don't pull stuff out. Okay, because I really... <laughs> <laughs> so... All right. Where to start? Well, I can never have enough scarves, so I decided just a couple minutes ago that I'm going to bring all kinds of scarves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not the reaction I was looking for. Yeah. But it's kind of a joke. Yeah. I just yeah, went down there and got it. I wasn't really <laughs> looking at your stuff. No, so. um, well, so usually we have, well, just a list and you talk about the basic things. And this is just under the plane because... We've been stuck in so many airports without our luggage for so many days, you would always have one change of clothes carry on. So, anyway. For me, my bag is always packed pretty much all Mexicali. Um, I always have uh, a couple of dresses. This is always a great one that we're bringing back this year, mm -hmm. by the way. This is a great little um, t shirt dress, bathing suit cover up, um, you can sleep in it, all kinds of things. So, that, um, a great, this is really actually awesome. This is a 
scarf slash perio slash you can wear it over your bathing suit. You can wear it as a scarf. You can do so many things with it, so I wear that. Um, everywhere we go in tropical climates, kurtas always come in really handy because they're light. They cover your shoulders when you go to temples, when um, you just don't want to be that bearing all, but you don't want to be sweating like a fruit. Um, I bring a skirt, a couple pairs of pants. These pants have been on probably 10 too, years too of travel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But they're light, and actually, we're probably going to get some of these this year. Yeah, we have we're bringing those back. So Are those the style great. we used to have before? Yes, yeah, so we're getting more the coconut yeah. buckle, yeah. Okay, We've done so the, the skirt as well as the pants. And they've cool. got the little coconut buckle that's higher than And they're Ooh. stretchy. And yeah. there's a couple mm -hmm. holes, <laughs> but they're really light, so they're awesome. And they're solid, so they go with all of the, the Mexicali style, you know? This is one of our classics that's very light and airy that we take, I take. Pete looks good in it too, but he doesn't really wear it out. A unisex style. <laughs> this, is a, this is a new one, I'm loving this one. It's not even out of the warehouse yet. It's a Rob Nami top we got in, uh, in Bali, I mean in I'm taking it to Bali, but we got it to, in Nepal, and it's just oh. really loose. loose and light and fun. And There's actually a picture of you wearing that on the email that went out today. <laughs> <laughs> and I, was, so I did think about it. Bali. I was like, people are going to wonder what that is and want that, so I'm so well, glad they, you had it. They, they get it. Perfect. It's <laughs> um, scarves, I do bring quite a few scarves because they work for dressing something up. Um, my other go to, I mean, this is it, our sarongs. So I always bring two sarongs. One is the extra large sarong because you can really make it a dress and a uh, towel and a bag. A bag. Yeah. yeah. And then I always bring one because when we get there, Pete will never pack one, but then he's like, I wish I had a sarong, so I bring the sarong. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. That's true. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, a bathing suit. And I would never wear a two-piece here, but guess what? In Asia, I do. <laughs> Nobody knows me. Um, oh, incense. I always travel with incense because you never know what kind of musty room you might go in because we're not five-star hotelers by any means. That's a great tip. Yes, we're, we're thrifty. Good. We're thrifty. Um, he loves this. My exercise bands. <laughs> <laughs> I used, yep. I used to Can't bring, leave home without those. <laughs> I used to bring just one, but then I found these are all different weights, and it's just a gym. And the, I knew that would get a rise out of you. I'll only oh bring one, God. I promise. Oh, um, oh I know. <laughs> do you I sneak do, back through. Yeah, you go back at night before. Yeah, we, you're like, yeah, yeah. This, we just, it always happens at the end of the trips. We're always talking about okay, what do, what do we not use and what do we not need to bring? Yeah. And usually, it's some things. So we we do try to to, to pare it down. Because you can always buy things there. Yeah. Right, you're not going to like Antarctica. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah, and I always bring two pairs of shoes, like a flip flop yeah. and my chacos, because yeah, they can get wet. Um, in tropical areas, there's torrential downpours a lot of times, so you need to be ready to get wet. And another trusty, dusty, old piece that I bring with me everywhere. That seems. It's my sweat rag. <laughs> I get really hot. <laughs> it's true. It's, like, it's all I use this for. So um, it's seen better days, but it's clean. Yeah. So Good. that's my bag. Let's look at yours. Yeah. Ready? Well, my, mine's pretty basic. Uh, it's the same thing every time. Uh, same old beat up bag. But I just have. It's basic. One hair. pair of pants, two pair of shorts, two bathing suits, nine shirts, four of them being the batiks or adult tie-dyes, and the <laughs> others being t-shirts, tie-dyes, definitely, because you have to represent Mexicali and oh, fun yeah. stuff. And I always bring a South Bristol Fisherman's Co-op shirt. Nice. So this okay. is something I always do. A hat to keep the sun off, Christmas Cove, Maine. Um... What else? Oh, we've been to so many places where I wish we had goggles. And we saw some German ladies that had these, and we said we're bringing them every time. Instead of big. Instead of being big goggles, when you just want to see some things swimming in the ocean, you can do the same thing with this, and it's much lighter. This, these are, have been great. To and have. if you're also caught in a rainstorm and you're on a motorbike, yes. you put these on, and it's really awesome, too. Yeah. Oh. 
And yeah. so stylish. <laughs> yes. You don't get weird looks at all. Uh, just the trusty uh, Birkenstocks, uh, kind of nappy uh, flip flop, Sudoku, cribbage, frisbee. You know the essentials to go, yeah. and that's that's about it. But I mean, it's pretty good to go for six weeks. I have two small bags and a carry-on. I mean, that's. What about any of your? What else? What do you bring it? for your, um, like in your dog kit? Is there anything you have to have? You don't want to go into your personal. Yeah, I'm not going to my personal. Well, <laughs> I will not a you. lot. <laughs> Everything's travel size. <laughs> vitamin E, because if you get a cut or um, a burn or anything, vitamin E, I always have with me. Um, melatonin, because I have those sleepless nights. Um, probiotic because it really regulates and helps my stomach. And gingins, which does that too, but I don't have any gingins with me. Oh. I bring on the carry on, I always bring my iPad. But I'm really this year, this trip trying to go books. So I got a couple of reads that I'm definitely going to bring Shopping for Buddhas and Tribal Leadership, which was recommended by our own Tofunari. <laughs> um, <clears throat> earphones. Classic bag, and good to go. And then we're pretty much good to go. Yeah. Is there anything in here stuff up here? Mm, not really. Just um, let's just see the cribbage board and. Oh, show me the cribbage board. <laughs> this is our cribbage board. We play a lot. Um, well used. It's, yeah. it's yeah. It's, it's kind <laughs> of it's been used. Bad. These are we keep track because we're competitive. Uh, I mean, it started okay. just a few of them are Guatemala, India, Nepal, Thailand, India, Mexico, Bali, Peru, Europe, Thailand. You know, you get the idea. Who's we? So um, I'd have to say that I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's really fun. It's a nice way to meet people also because a lot of people, especially from England and places like that, play uh, cribbage as well. Yeah. There you go. Oh, crib. <laughs> My grandmother taught me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a, the best way to learn is from your grandma. So. Do you have anything you uh, bring with you to like keep off like the homesickness, like Maine? You brought like your Christmas coat hat. We'll bring a little and, bit of Maine with you. Yeah, that's about, mm -hmm. that's about it. And the cribbage. Yeah. 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 So. Well, nowadays bring... it's so easy to be at home. Right. And just jump on the computer. Yeah, I also bring bumper stickers to tag things. Nice. Oh. And I would encourage you all to do the same. To get Mixed Guy Blues bumper stickers and tag things. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. So. And we saw oh, that the water bottle for the, uh, these are great to have because in the airport you can fill them up for free instead of paying two or three dollars or more for mm -hmm. water. Oh, but, you know, always yeah. have. Always that. have and that's about it. Water. I mean, it's pretty basic, but we've been practicing this Facebook Live, as we'd said, <laughs> and this is uh, a good start. And yeah. In the future, we'll have ones uh, showing different markets and the people we buy from and where things are produced. So. i got a question for you. Do so you guys rollers or folders? Um, I'm a folder. You're folding? Yeah. It depends. I just like to shake it up. I don't like to have a list. I like at the end to throw other things in. I like to roll a little, fold a little. But <laughs> she basically tries to sneak as much stuff on as she can. <laughs> yeah, so that's no, I, I'm that's better. I, I'm actually better. What I was yeah. telling Shelby earlier, for us it's fairly easy too because it's like this trip, it's hot climate, so you need lightweight, um, not a lot. You yeah. just and you need to mix and match. Oh, here's a funny story. I was gonna bring this pant. When we used to travel with the kids, Pete's favorite not funny, outfits. Not story. It's kind of funny. <laughs> he loved to wear a patchwork because he'd warm around here. I mean he would go to the post office and someone would say, Oh, I wish I could wear my pajamas. Well now you can't, everybody does. <laughs> so he would wear patchwork pants or tie-dye pants and one trip he packed without looking at anything and packed all of these wacky tie-dyes and all of these patchwork and tie-dye pants and he just looked like a freak. Like, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah, you want to think it through. Okay. It's not just nine tops and two bottoms. Kind of what I think. Yeah. 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 Plaid on tie-dye just doesn't, doesn't yeah. work. It's a hard combo in any yeah, culture. Exactly, exactly. Or patchwork. Yeah. I know you guys travel a lot. You said in tropical places. Do you bring rain layers or you just bring light stuff that will dry quick? Yeah. Quick dry. We yeah. kind of go back and forth every time like, like it's our first time about a rain jacket. Um, it seems like if we bring it, we never use yeah. it. If we don't bring it, we have to buy a poncho. So yeah. needless to say, we have a lot of ponchos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you well, can pretty, pretty much get anything. It's pretty cool over there. This, this last time, people use ponchos so often because everybody's riding motorbikes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And uh, so they even have them, someone was asking, why do they have the, the little 
clear plastic shield right there. Well, that's to go over your kid when your kid's on the motorbike so they can look out and see so it's not in front of them. So it's, that was pretty cool. First time I noticed that, that was in Vietnam. So. Yeah, so it made sense. So, yeah. when it, it rains a lot. When it rains, it really rains. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so this, is, this has been a lot of fun, folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thanks very much yeah, for cool. obliging and then, us. <laughs> and the next time that we that we tune in or whatever, we'll have some fun markets and things to show you. So, awesome. Cool. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah, cool. Later. Bye.